Hello everyone, Phoenix here, and uh, yeah, but today I'm going to be showing the beginning of Galactic Fantasy Prelude. Yep, I hate this model too. About time. Hey James, what, what are you doing here? You're not trying to take this ship and leave the orphanage again, are you? Matt, ever since I was young, it's been my dream to be a pirate. I want to set myself free. I want to live my life and never look back. Please, Matt, don't get in my way. Get back to the orphanage. Enjoy your dinner. But what kind of pirate would you be if you didn't have a first mate? Every great pirate needs someone to help manage their loot. Let me be that guy. From now on, you're Captain James, and I'll be your first mate. Damn, the guard's coming. Quickly, hide over here. Ah, Mr. Brownson. Have a good afternoon, and enjoy your weekend with your wife. Oh, uh, mm, uh, you too. Phew, the guard fell for it. There we go. Undock to outside. Matt, we're pirates now. Should we be looking for someone to rob or a ship to plunder? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Now let's zippo on out to the galaxy. Man, commandeering a ship isn't as easy as I thought. Guess we'll have to get used to fighting, eh? Yeah, yeah. We sure showed them. Anyway, we are currently using a tiny frigate called the Angels. And interestingly enough, first fight is against two angels. Oh my gosh, this thing is so maneuverable. This is what I'm talking about. This is better than those stupid battle cruisers. Seraphim. Well, I'm actually going to be buying a battle cruiser pretty darn soon. All right. That's our mark. Stay close. So yeah, but actually though, how close you need to be to the loot is actually as close as you need to be to pirate. Let's install it on the frigate right away. We're gonna need to recruit some other crew members to help run the ship as well. I'm sorry, I just accidentally. Um, I just accidentally skipped text. What he said is that we got a defense matrix, which is essentially a shield. Alright, to the galaxy. This isn't the first time I've run away from the orphanage, but it will be the last. Once I leave this place, I'll never look back. My parents are out there somewhere, and when I find them, I'm going to ask them why they left me in that awful orphanage. The orphanage isn't important anymore. Right now we need money, and a lot of it. The planets here in Galactic Union 20 lost everything during the war. Those Sphinx Empire bastards are still rolling in money, though. Money, huh? Guess you're right. We need money if we're going to improve this trash heap of a ship. Sorry about that. Not everything goes according to plan. Here, it says enter the material market which would be the mine plant. Sorry, never mind.
Probably means the legitimate market. Let me take Here. a look at how much wars are going for. Can you see that the MACD and RSI of plutonium suggest a whatever that means? Signal? I've never seen such strong signals since I started trading at the age of twelve. Do I look like a trader to you? <laughs> now, buy it? Yes, spend everything we have. Everything? Are you sure about this? Well, nothing certain. If it starts going downhill, I guess we can pull out from the market and find something else. Okay, then. How do we do this? We need to go to the other starports to sell. Our computer can't tell us how much each good is selling for. We can only check the prices of the markets. I see. Buy some plutonium right away. Set a course for Abaddon Starport. Also, I just have to notice that it's not spelled the same. Ooh, right there is a Seraphim battle cruiser. That looks like either a soul or a soul too. Can't tell from that angle. See, yeah, but here I went over here and hit wander. Which puts you in this area. Uh, Doc puts you right in the starport. But anyway, though, the stargates are how you get between star systems. Thanks for the info. We don't have much choice, I guess. And what's life without a little adventure? Matt, set course for the NJ2034 stargate. Because we're idiots. Actually, though, first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go over here, here, and I'm going to buy the Metatron. Now, I asked my friends what, like, what I should get, um, the Hermes was rather cumbersome, so I asked Peregrine or Metatron battle cruisers. So I got three votes for Metatron and no votes for Peregrine. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll wrap up this video here and see you next time with the Metatron.